Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Low Nose video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up and use your webcam as an overlay when recording your gameplay videos or doing tutorial videos. Don't go anywhere. Okay, let's get straight to it. We're going to set up our webcam so we can put the overlays over our, our desktop, our screen, or our gameplay. Okay, so first things you want to do, you want to go to the plus sign and we're gonna add a video capture device. Okay, we're, uh, you can either leave it as a video capture device or you can actually name it what your actual webcam is. I have a, I'll, I'll go ahead and call my video capture device webcam. If you have more than we, uh, one webcam, you actually can connect multiple webcams to your computer. And with this multi, with the uh, video capture device, you can actually display multiple webcams. So if you wanna do a cool like different angle thing, a uh, different multiple camera thing, you can actually do that within OBS. Um, I'll probably save that for another video. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Okay, now take a look for a second right here. Um, in our sources, you can see how web is displayed over display capture. This, this works the same way like any kind of video editing software. Whatever is on top is the primary image. So if, the web, if our webcam is on top, that means it will be on top of our display. If I decided to use the down arrow, and put that at the bottom, then it will be under our display and it will be hidden from our, hidden from our view. Okay, so let's set this up. Our device, we are gonna select my Pro, my Logic Amp webcam, C920, there it is. Um, if you want to, I have another video to see how you can set up the best settings to set up this webcam, go ahead and check my channel. Okay, uh, can, if you press configure video, it will bring up your Logic Amp uh, settings right there and you can set it up there. Okay, and go ahead and check my video for the best settings for your uh, web camera. All right, resolution type, we'll put at custom. Oh, and it disappeared, why did it disappear? Now this is totally up to you, 1920 by 1080. Me personally, I, I like to leave it at 1080, but no doubt this is a waste because since we are making it that very small box, no one's gonna see that 1080 resolution. Um, if you have a slower computer, then I suggest either doing 720 or maybe uh, 860 by 480. You know, no one's really gonna know, know a difference um, the, the lower you go, the smaller your files will be, the, the more, the easier manager will be to edit your video files or even for this to, to create together. But you know, as we're doing this right now, we are going to record with the video overlay. Um, for this example, I'm just going to leave it at uh, 1920 by 1080, but however you like, you can leave it the way it is. I, you can see right here, not, when I put on 1080, our, our screen is just that much bigger because of the additional pixels. All right, we are going to match our output frame per second. I'm not going to mess with my frames per second. I'm just going to leave it as is. Video format, yes, we'll leave it any. Uh, leave that at default, our YUV color range. I'm gonna put this at full because I do have the, the, CPU, uh, the CPU processing power to have a full range of, uh, of my color range. Um, once again, if you have a slower computer, you go ahead and just leave on partial. Um, since everything is gonna go be small, you're not gonna notice that much of a difference. So don't get too wound up on that. Okay, so we'll set it up. Now, now that our video our, I'm sorry, our webcam is over our, our, our display. We're gonna go ahead and set it up and resize it. So what you do is you wanna, you wanna, you can just grab your video, you can just move it around wherever you like. So we'll just go ahead and put it in the corner. Then what you wanna do is grab a point and hold down the shift key and, and bring it in. Wait a minute, I thought the shift key was supposed to work. Ah, you know what, I'm sorry. You wanna grab it and, you want to grab it and press the control key. When I was doing the shift, it was, it was adjusting with uh, the size. So hold the control key, hold the control key, and it'll just play with the size of it without warping the picture at all. So hold your control key and just bring it to a size however you like. You can play with it and mess with it. It'll just snap to the corners or the edges, like so. We can leave it at that, or we can leave it right here. Okay, so we're looking good right now. Now let's go ahead and test uh, something. I actually have my YouTube channel up in the background, so, oh, actually, no, 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 actually, I, I am forgetting something right now. Okay, so let's let's go back. If you can see right here that we within our mixer, we have our microphone, we have our desktop audio, and then our web camera has its own audio source. So let's go to our web camera, filters, and I can choose, oh no, I'm sorry. Where is it grabbing? It's no, it's not grabbing the audio from the web camera. It's just it's grabbing the audio from my microphone. Okay, and a desktop. Okay, um, okay. So let's go to our mixer now. 
Okay, okay, this is what I want to show you. Okay, so as you can see, I have channel one dedicated to my actual microphone, which is right here in front of me. Uh, and my tripod's falling apart. Okay, uh, channel two is, is dedicated to any sound that comes from our desktop, which would be like computer noises or video game play that normally comes out of your speakers. And channel three, right now, right now it's set up for all channels. I'm going to make this my third channel. So, the, the, my microphone will be channel one, my desktop audio will be channel two, and my webcam audio will be channel three. I'm gonna have this separate, so just in case, uh, when I bring this into my editing software, I won't have to mess with my video, but if I wanted to play with my audio, let's just, let's just say that the audio from my microphone is just completely messed up and then I'm just gonna have to either do it all over again or I can just stay with the, the audio that came from my webcam. I can go this route. Because, because since it's creating that file, when I drag it into my web, uh, into my session, it'll create that separate, uh, that third additional, or that, yeah, that third audio file. Two microphones, one from the microphone, one from the webcam, and the other one from the desktop audio. So we are good to go there. All right. And actually, you know what? I may be wrong because I'm here to tell, talking about webcam audio, but it is not, you know, I don't see any levels going from the, from the actual thing. Microphone. No, you know what? Everything I just said right there was a, was a, a, a crock of shit. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know, okay, so what I said wasn't a crock of shit. I mean, the, the, the theory still, uh, still works in theory, but um, because this is a video capture device, there's no audio attached to this video capture device. Uh, so why this mixer is still down here just kind of boggles me. I mean, we can just mute it for all I, for all I care. Um, but it's there. Uh, all right, so let's move on. Let, let's do an example. I have my YouTube web page set up right here. And what I'm doing is we're gonna start recording. We're gonna see, we're, we're gonna do like a, a little mini um, browser session of the site. I'm um, record and then we'll actually check out and see how the video came out. Okay, so we're starting recording and I will go to my site here. And yeah, so here's my site. Here's all my popular, up, my popular uploads, my uploads, my voiceover vlogs, improve your video, everything here. And then, you know, my, my actual uh, overlay should be right here on the side. Okay, so let's go back to OBS Studio. Let's stop it. And let's open it up. Let's see how it looks out, guys. Uh, where am I? A scratch disk. And where, where are you, buddy? Where are you, OBS? Ah, here you go. We're starting recording. And I will go to my site here. Okay, so there and it is. Yeah, so um, I can actually go back and I can then, um, I can resize it for any way I like, you know, so I can compare back and forth. But there we go. It, it looks good. And that's how you kind of do the overlay. You can go back and you can move it put it wherever you like. And that's it, okay, so that's if you wanted to do like maybe a lot of tutorials or you know, follow along with me. Let's, uh, let's do it for gameplay. Okay, for this time, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make it smaller because I thought it looked a little too big last time. I'm gonna bring it up to the corner now and let's load up Grand Theft Auto. And now this time we should actually see our desktop audio and then I'll actually bring the file into Vegas so, so I can show you how we can manip manipulate everything. Okay, so we've got our camera set up. That's there and we're just waiting for GTA to start and Okay, and it's going, it's recording, everything's starting. Um, one thing, if, um, if you actually wanna see what you're doing, maybe if you have a double monitor, uh, you can actually send, uh, when you do your display option, you have the option to select one or the other monitor. So we can actually leave OBS on one monitor, 
but have OBS looking at the second monitor so you can sort of play what you're doing here, but I'll, you know, off to the side you can see, okay, it's, just re it's still recording over there. Okay, and that's what I do when, um, whenever I make my, my gameplay videos. I play everything on my, I record everything off of my TV and on my computer I see, you know, everything happening at the same time recording. I can, I can actually see how the camera is looking on me. Uh, and if I need to make any adjustments right there, that's how it is. All right. So there it is. Okay, and I'm, I'm recording and we're, we're, we're just here. All right. Okay, so we can get out of here. How do I get out of here? I don't know how to get out of here. Jeez. Get me out of here! Ah, game. Right? Exit game. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we are back to our desktop. Yeah, let's stop and let's take a quick look. Let's see how it came out. Well, you already saw how it came out, but I'm gonna see how it came out. Okay, here we go. My video. And now this time we should actually see our desktop audio and then I'll actually right, bring let's the go file ahead and skip into Vegas. Ahead. That's there and we're just waiting for GTA to Everything's sort of play what you're doing here, but I'll, you know- So it looked good, it's working out. Just... There you go, guys. That's how you put your webcam over overlay as far as gameplay or overlay as far as, you know, if you want to do some kind of explanatory tutorial as far as uh, doing videos or, uh, oh, you know what, Psh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I, I promised you I was going to load this up into Vegas and we could uh, play with that. So, all right, so I'm going to drag it in. All right, and here, and here we go. We have our microphone audio on the top, and then we have our actual desktop audio here on the bottom. And as always, oh, and there we go. We have myself at the top. You know, you, you no longer have to uh, do any additional work. If you want, you know, you can. You still, if you want to record your file separately, uh, you can still do that. Um, if you like, you can actually open, have, if for some reason you're having issues with your your the the recording software that came with your camera or you have a camera and it didn't come with a software uh, uh, video software for your web camera you can use OBS as the video recording for your camera uh, let's go back to OBS let's delete this okay I'll delete my display and right now we just have our web our web camera okay so if you want you can just you can record this as is and then you can actually open up another instance of OBS Studio. Okay, let's do a, do a plus here. We'll do a display capture. There we go. So we have one OBS recording my desktop and then another instance of OBS recording the camera. Okay, and right now two simultaneous files are being created with on my hard drive. And you know, you can do it that way if you don't have a, a and um, a software for your video camera. You can use OBS, that works just as fine. Okay guys, if this video helped you, please leave a like. Uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead, please subscribe and go ahead, check out my other videos and check out my voiceover vlogs and do a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm still, I got a lot of OBS videos I wanna create for you guys and I've got plenty of other videos as far as uh, uh, best ways to uh, create your own home videos and uh, especially I wanna do some multicam videos. Uh, I know those, those are getting popular, and uh, I think I found a, a really good um, workflow for all of that to make it easier. Um, so, yeah, please leave a like, go ahead, subscribe, let everyone know what Low Nose is doing. And, guys, I will see you in the next video. Later. Bye.